Dean, Jonathan, hey, congratulations on the new series, The Ark. Thank you. Thank, thank you. I already watched a few episodes and I was really addicted to this uh, show already. And um, and I feel like it should never end. But, you know, let's let's ask that obligatory question. Where the original concept came from, what sparked this? It, it was actually a, uh, a I was having lunch with uh, a man named Michael Wright, who had been the head of TNT when I did the original Leverage and Librarians. And uh, we were just having a conversation of shows we'd like to see. And he was saying, you know, that there, there is this diverse group of people in a contained spaceship on an adventure. And he missed those kinds of shows. He missed that, that energy. And I, and I did too. And, and after that lunch, I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I kept saying to myself, well, if, if I finally got to do my space spaceship show, what would it be? And when it finally came to me, this idea that what if you had the spaceship, but all the leaders of the ship were gone. All the people who were supposed to run the ship, the decision makers, the teachers, the doctors, what if they were all killed in, in the first scene? How would the rest of the people react? Would they, would, would, would they be able to rise to the occasion? Would their differences prevent them? And that became the lean-in point that, that, uh, uh, that the show was built upon. So in, in, in a show like this, because I've, I've watched a few episodes, it's just disaster after disaster after disaster. Do they ever get a breather? Yes, they get a breather <laughs> from the disasters. I mean, there's still a lot of other awful things going on and uh, challenges going on, but they're, uh, no, we don't have an asteroid coming every episode. <laughs> so how, how did you want an approach to build the arc, the concept of, you know, this big spaceship, because it looks so extravagant. <laughs> Well, I think the, 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 the difficulty is on one hand, you want this to be a pressure cooker. So you want these, these people in this confined space stuck with each other. But on the other hand, it's a TV series and you don't want to, you know, you don't want to be Das Boot. You don't want to be, you know, feeling claustrophobic every episode. So we have to design parts of the ship to be very open and wide with these big giant windows and other parts very tight and contained. And even some parts that had uh, uh, greenery and, and nature to give a different kind of feeling. So uh, Randall Groves did an amazing job designing a ship that, that gave us all these different environments so that we won't feel uh, like, gosh, I've seen this place a million times after a few episodes. And, and I think it gives us a variety of looks, a variety of feelings. Um, and, and then it was just designing our stories to take place in different parts of the ship that fit emotionally what we're trying to uh, accomplish with the stories. Are there like unexplored um, parts of the ship that we have yet to see, or is this, or everyone's familiar with the whole ship already? Like you're getting ahead of us. You're getting oh. ahead of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, that 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 simply answers. How, how about this? Rather than just being, you know, like a giant uh, tombstone floating in space, do they ever make pit stops anywhere, or it is just, you know, just going in one direction for the whole the whole season? Uh, they don't make pit stops in the way you mean, probably. It, you know, this is not a show where we go to other planets, you know, other than the one we're intended to go to and explore and meet aliens and, you know, that kind of thing. It's, uh, the, you know, they have a mission to get to this one planet and, and they're going to do everything they have to do to get to that planet. Now, because of the fact that you don't want to be, make this sort of like a claustrophobic type of a show how do you handle with the actors you know through their camaraderie throughout the entire season and how many actors did you really want to or how many characters you want to introduce into a concept like this well you know we we had a certain amount of characters that we had had, had planned on um but then we started getting these really wonderful day players and and they would surprise us and jonathan would go you know, I think there's something going on with that character. I think we have to develop that one more too. And then, and then that one, and that one. It, next thing you know, we've got this huge, uh, uh, you know, uh, Greek chorus <laughs> happening, yes. but it was great. And I think it, it, again, it allows us to take the story in really surprising and unexpected places. Are there going to be like a, like a new character of the week or someone no. being introduced? No, no. I mean, it's a spaceship. So there aren't that many 
characters, you know, there aren't that, it's not like people are going to be coming from other, from off the ship to visit us. It's the people that are on the ship are the people that are on the ship. So there's not going to be a whole lot. I mean, every once in a while, we'll meet a crew member that we've only seen in the background and get to know them a little bit better, but that's about the extent of it. Are, and it's always hinting that there is some kind of aliens. Are we going to possibly see that um, through the season or just going to tease us for multiple seasons? You'll well, have you know, to wait and see. <laughs> but I think that the thing is that this is really a human drama. You know, this is about the people on board and, and their different philosophies on how to survive. And, you know, I think we've watched this in our own world uh, facing, you know, these huge uh, uh, issues and we approach them really differently. And what emerges, you know, what, what triumphs? And that's really, I think, the focus of our show. It's, it's, this, it's the human stories. And I think that's why even people who aren't giant sci-fi fans are enjoying these episodes because they find the characters that they relate to, they root for, um, or get surprised by. And before I leave, do you agree that uh, parents should never fly together after uh, <laughs> a, a show like this? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's been a debate in my family for a long time. And uh, uh, for a while, we tried to we tried to say, all right, we're always going to fly separately. And then we just said, ah, screw it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess, Ho I guess. Hopefully most airliners are safer than this ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They'll build sturdier, at least. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Really appreciate it, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye. Bye now.